What's good, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, Chrissy Talks. Y'all can call me Chrissy. And before we jump right into it, I do want to quickly apologize because the been gone for two months. Yes, I know, two months. Y'all probably don't even know who I am no more. But it was just going through it, y'all. Just with school, family, friends, relationships, all that bullshit. I was just going through it and I needed to take a break. And I want to apologize to y'all and myself, not even for taking a break because, you know, I'm big on mental health. If my shit is not right over here, then none of this shit is going to be okay. But I do apologize for letting shit affect me to that point where I needed to take one and mess my shit up, you know? But May is the month of mental health awareness, so just be aware, check on your friends. I hate when people say that, but literally check on your friends. It doesn't take nothing to be nice and kind to people and just be aware, you know, be more considerate or whatever. And before we jump into this video, I want to do some support and support. Now, support and support is when I support y'all who support me. Before I went on my little hiatus, a supporter did send me some do rag. So you guys already know as naturalistas, we need to keep our hair safe and protected during the night. So what better way to do that with a silk do rag, a self scarf, or a silk bonnet? So shout out to my supporter Deja for sending me these do rags. I got one in blue and in pink. Don't play with me though, okay? Don't play. Yes. Okay. Like I low key would keep it off for the video, but if you guys want to know where you can buy these, her Instagram is at bonnets sitting pretty. And like I said, she has bonnets and do rags, multiple colors, and so forth. So go ahead and check her out and let her know that Chrissy sent you. Now let's go ahead and jump into this mother video. So yesterday Young Miami was going back and forth with one of Diddy's exes, Gina Huynh. And if you guys don't know, Gina was with Diddy from 2014 to 2019. Now recently speculations have arose between Diddy and Young Miami ever since Diddy was seen holding hands with Young Miami on her 28th birthday at the British Virgin Islands. Now I don't know about you, but if I am celebrating my birthday on the Virgin Islands, best believe no ordinary dick is gonna be there. But ever since then there's been speculations that Diddy and Young Miami have some type of involvement with each other or you know entanglement. Now just this past weekend Diddy was hosting the Billboard Music Awards and Gina was seen with this on her story saying baby daddy's hosting the Billboards. Now this is controversial because Diddy was literally seen with Young Miami at the BMAs after party. Now aside from that some people did not know what Gina meant by baby daddy. Does this mean that she's pregnant? I don't think that she's pregnant. I don't even know whether or not they're together but Gina actually did a sit down interview with Tasha K about her five year abusive relationship with Diddy and not only this but she was actually pregnant a few years ago allegedly and allegedly Diddy paid her $50,000 to get an abortion so, so some people thought maybe she's pregnant and other people thought maybe she's calling her baby daddy because I guess technically he was her baby daddy for like five seconds. Kind of disturbing but that ain't none of my business. Now again Gina alleged that Diddy was abusive in their five year relationship and so after she posted that her baby daddy was hosting the billboards people were a little confused. Gossip of the CDT posted that somebody commented under Gina's post and said why did you lie about being a victim of domestic violence like that's something to joke about do you know how many women die a year at the hands of their spouse or significant other and you want to do interviews about a man abusing you for years and then turn around and call him your baby daddy you have a problem gina responded saying do you understand that if i lied why he's still fucking with me i don't know what the rest of the comments said but in the next comment she says do you understand that if i actually went public and lied why would he still want me around if that's the case? Are you dumb? That was the past. Y'all blind or just slow? People can forgive each other, change behavior, and move the fuck on. It's my life and I can do whatever the fuck I want with it. Suck my dick. And one of my favorite blogs, God the Scoop, posted alleged messages between somebody and Gina. And somebody said, you look great, but sweetie, was it a lie you told or you're okay with putting up with abuse? Stand up. I looked up to you for being brave enough to speak about it. Gina, it's not worth your soul. Remember that. Gina allegedly said, Hi babe, thank you for being concerned about me. But I just want everyone to just know that everything is alright. That stuff was in the past. Him and I both had moved on. I never lied about anything. I forgave him a long time ago and he treats me like a queen and a princess now. We did stop talking to each other at one point for eight months and then we became friends again. And our friendship is better than ever before. We just really care about each other and want to be in each other's lives. I'm sorry to every woman I let down because a lot of y'all did support me and I do feel bad. But I personally don't think it's a big deal if we both change for the better and it's all love. I don't got nothing to say about that. Like I do think it's a little bit odd to befriend somebody who abused you and paid for your abortion. I feel like shit just there's certain things that you can't really get over. But if she says that she got over it. 
I don't know, but like if she's okay with it, then go ahead and live your best life, y'all. I also understand that sometimes to really find peace, you have to forgive people. And who knows, sometimes that love does run deep. Now the back and forth between Young Miami and Gina started when Gina posted this picture of her and Diddy. Now we don't know how recent this picture is, but my thing is that we don't know whether or not Diddy is currently seeing Gina. For some reason, Gina felt comfortable enough to post this picture of her and Diddy in front of, well, in the fucking public. So it's like... You know what I'm saying? Is Diddy still messing with her or what? Because you wouldn't really have to be crazy. Post a picture of you and somebody insinuating that y'all might be fucking with each other or whatever the case. They're not really messing with you on that level. Or they have a girl or someone that they're messing with at that point. Like, that's disrespectful. Now, after Gina posted this, Young Miami took to Twitter and said, Somebody please give this bitch some attention. Gina responded on her story saying, If anybody is taking attention, bitch, is you. So, obviously, these two are throwing subs at each other at this point. And Gina says, why are you so pressed, mama? I thought you was a city girl. So now we're getting a little specific. And young Miami went off and she said, I ain't arguing with no bitch that got cheap ass lint ball carpet in their house. I don't know how she knows that. Fucking on a billionaire, you freaky ass bitch. Attention, bitch, I am the attention. Let's be clear. Notice me, please, ass bitch, go sit down. We see you, relax, it's okay. You've been around, just around, for years. You've been waiting on this moment. If he can't make you famous, bitch, I ain't. And young Miami concluded it saying, I am a city girl, and that's why I fuck with your nigga and ain't coming off him. I don't care how many pics you post. Get that head, bread, and leave. I know how I feel about this, because young Miami does say in this tweet, so I fuck with yo. I ain't gonna say the N-word. I'm gonna start referring to ninjas as niches like nigga bitches but i don't know if she's admitting that that is her niche still or if they're still messing with i don't know child but young miami saying she's getting that head bread and she leaving now we're gonna talk more about this when i tie this whole video together at the end but let's go ahead and talk about keisha cole and antonio brown now, if you guys do not know, Antonio Brown is a NFL player. He was a wide receiver for the New England Patriots, the Steelers, Raiders, and until recently, the Buccaneers. You guys might remember him when he infamously took off his jersey and his shirt in the middle of a game. And if I remember correctly, I believe it was because his coach wanted him to play through an injury. So since then, he is now a free agent and is waiting for a team to claim him before he retires. And in the midst of that, he's also diving into some music because, you know, at this point, everybody can make a damn song. And one of his songs was actually with Keisha Cole. And I just feel like he really messed his bag up. But let's go ahead and talk about it. So I know I haven't been that active on social media in the last couple weeks, months. But this really just came out of the blue for me. Because a couple days ago, Keisha Cole posted herself laid up with Antonio Brown and said, miss him a lot, missing him a lot. And I was just like, wait, hold on, wait a minute. Like, who, like, when did they get together? But based on my research, it seems like there's no really prior indication of them messing with each other outside of this music video. Like, I don't know, it was just random as fuck. And I already feel like she shouldn't even have posted him because as a public figure, you're posting this shit in front of millions of people, right? And it's not even a relationship. It's not even secure. So I feel like, and as a public figure, you shouldn't even be posting nobody until you know that shit is solid. Now, after Keisha posted him, Antonio posted her, but not in the good light. He posted a video of what seems to be Keisha Cole with his initials on her back. And the caption said, you ain't pippin' until you hit an R&B diva. So obviously that's disrespectful because one, he put their business out there and put her out there. Her out there with his initials tatted on him, child. And then it's obviously saying that, you know, I hit this R&B diva and now I'm pippin'. Like, what the fuck? Keisha went ahead and commented under this saying, this is the second time you posted this, but the caption has changed. Don't be mad at me no more, babe. I said I apologize. Now, I don't know what the original caption was, but this comment was controversial and kind of ticked people off because not only was Antonio disrespecting you, but you're the one apologizing in this comment talking about don't be mad. I said I apologize when it's like, clearly Antonio is the one that needs to be apologizing. I don't know what Keisha could have done, but it's not worth you outing me as a public figure who got kids with this tattoo on my back that was, I'm guessing, private and then saying, you pippin' like I'm a hoe. Child, I'm telling you, do not let me get my gun license. Keisha Cole went live and she addressed the whole thing because she knows that we've been listening to her during our own heartbreak. So she's addressing her public heartbreak. There's another part of her live where she's on live with celebrity stylist EJ King and he gave her a lot of good advice that I couldn't have said better myself. So I'm also gonna insert that as well. When I said the other day, two days ago 
that I missed a certain someone, right? And then a certain someone said a certain thing that kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Like we, we kind of just, you know, it was just everywhere, right? So I think that that must be hard. I mean, being that I have helped most of you, right? Most of you that are on my live right now, especially with a heartbreak or at one time or another, right? And so I'm assuming that it must be hard to see me, right? Have my heart broke. You know what I mean? I'm I'm ex I'm I'm just going to jump to the conclusion that that may be why. <laughs> no, I'm not blushing. Chill. No, I'm not blushing. I'm not blushing. No, it must be hard to see, right? Because it must be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like this girl to help me get through the worst of the times, you know what I'm saying, with her songs, and I broke most of them, you know what I'm saying, like, it's coming from a real place, you understand, so it must be kind of hard to see, you know, that, and I think that's why you guys be so judgmental most of the time, like, yo, get it together, what's up, why you like this, why is it like that, why you doing this, why you doing that, why you not, you know what I'm saying, and, and I get it, I understand it, I totally understand it, and that is another reason why I'm doing this right now, though, because I really feel like, oh my god, it's just like, I did not expect, I didn't expect, I didn't expect him to say what he said. Now that he said what he said, it's obvious that that's the stance on things. You know what I'm saying? And I, it's obvious that I have to accept that. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's just a little hard, you know what I mean, for me, especially right now. You understand? Like, with so much loss, so much going on. You know, and now I'm losing, I'm losing this too. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's kind of, you know, when you like somebody, you like somebody. Like, you can't control that. Like, you know what I'm saying? And so, especially with me, y'all know I'm the love guru. Like, I'm just, you know, the heart is right here on the sleeve. You dig? So, and it, and it, and it, and sometimes, especially right now in our generation, it's not a good look to do that. That heart on the sleeve is a bad look. I just want to, I just want to let y'all know that I understand. You know what? Let's just be keep it real, keep it gully, keep it thorough. Up in the Let's keep it gangster. You know what? I saw a black man that is going through the motion. I saw a black man that's going through the motion, bro. I see, and I and I identify. I'm not a black man, but I identify with how heavy it can be. You know what I'm saying? And right. I, he might not care about that. I don't know. I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? With his with his trauma, you didn't you identify with the shit that he was going through as in the media with his career as a black man. You felt he was misunderstood, and you because you yeah. you could feel you could feel that or see that in yourself. I'm but empath. I, total empath. Right. That's my heart was hurting. That's why I had to right. go to the emergency room. That's why I was like, oh, this little this little pain don't feel this this hurt. This this is not this yeah. is not you know yeah, what I'm but saying? I, you're intertwining yourself in with him prematurely because as a person because and I know what you're doing because I do it a lot myself, just being a Virgo, being a giver, I identify with people's pain and I instantly go into I wanna heal it. I wanna be the person for you that brings you some type of light and positivity and peace in your life. When I realize that sometimes i can't you can't be that for everybody at the time you want to be that for them and if he can appreciate that in you right now as a grown woman then then that's enough in itself and all by all means he might like this this attention and this 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 new vibe that he's on he might like this whole new wave and feel and what you're offering to him could feel smothering when when you when you're offering pureness he wants to play, in my opinion. And this, and once again, y'all, this is just my opinion. I don't know. I don't know the full dynamic. Even if y'all did that, you will start to resent him if he's not in a place of receiving what you're. No, trying. no, no. I, I think he made it very clear that he didn't want to receive it. I think he made it. Very clear. He was like, 
you know, maybe I liked you at first, but now I don't. It's like a no. So I think that's what, maybe that's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. My point wasn't even for that to be like, you know what I'm saying, for us to discuss that more. So it was just that, you know, it, it was harsh. You know what I'm saying? It was a little harsh. Yeah. Even, you know, like me speaking to him, he was like, do you want me to change the caption? And I was like, no, I don't want you to change the caption. No. Yeah. It's I mean, I think, yeah. I want you to understand, motherfucker, that this is this is a little insensitive. I want you, you know, but these also the red flags of got it. You know what I'm saying? These are all red flags that I now I now pick up on way before. Like, do I want you to change the caption? I don't want you to change shit. I wish you never said it. But here we are. You know, I a, a, um a little still uh, inside of me wants to. I don't think I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, listen. I'm sorry. I'm human. I'm a human being. Like I'm, like you know, what I'm saying, like I, yeah. I, 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 no. I just want to talk. Can we just? I. I think, look, Keisha. What I'm not, what I'm gonna say is, I don't think that never is never. I don't think maybe it's just not right now. Who? He could very much well be somebody sometime down the line and maybe y'all just are the friends but i think that's the problem is i often when i like a person like that I, it's hard for me just to be your friend i just once i like you in the space of like i see myself fucking with you to to retract from that and to be your friend and then to be there through all the bullshit you're gonna go through i don't know i, I have to learn that that's also not it's also not good for me. It's, it's selfish. You know what I'm saying? It's selfish to give to can want to give somebody all that if they're not trying to give it back or receive it the right way. And I do give Keisha props for going on live and addressing it. Obviously, she doesn't have to. She was facing backlash. I'm not gonna lie. At first, I was like seeing her comments. I know how to explain it, but like being like a schoolgirl over him, I was just like, Keisha, you are grown and you ain't got no time for this. But honestly. When it comes to niches and love and shit, like, you could be the, the biggest fool. That's why they say that people can be stupid in love. That's why people fall in love. Like, like this shit could get anybody, okay? So I don't even blame her at this point. And I respect her more for being open about her heartbreak because I don't wish that shit on nobody. Now, after the live was posted, Keisha posted and deleted this on her story saying, yeah, I was big tripping. Shake my head. I see it now. I have a 12-year-old. Like, that type of disrespect for what? Nothing is worth that level of disrespect, especially when you don't deserve it. Has so much love, respect, and admiration for you. Guess that wasn't mutual either. Now, Antonio went on live and disrespected Keisha again, and he said, Additional, you heard? Keisha Cole, like, you know, like, I'm a player, man. We don't want you, Keisha. Stay on my word. You heard? And all you people who just be, you know, with the back and forth, I don't go back, I go forward, man. Don't, don't play with me, play with your kids. I play with your girlfriend if you sweet or whatever you got, you all right? Everything to people, you know, it's been a lot of hate, a lot of discretion, you know, on my name. And, you know, they like to drag your name in the dirt when you on top of the clouds, you heard? But the dirt can't reach my face when you this high up, you heard? You see? You see? You see how high up we is? That's the pavement right there. So when you throwing dirt, just know it never hit our face because we too high up. So all you little people who be making bread off my name and like trying to ruin my name, or, you feel me? On my dick and my, on my brand, like, you feel me? Cut all that out. That ain't traditional, you heard? Child, he said, we don't want you, Keisha. Stay off my dick. And he's a play guy. And all I'm going to say is, I'm going to leave this. I'm going I'm to leave this one to Keisha's sister. Because she posted this on her story saying, why do we let clowns that look like this disrespect women and preach sis? But I saw this picture. I was thinking of Spongebob and those big back boots. Like, bitch, do not let no Spongebob play you. Now, I just want to say this about the situation because clearly these are two different events where, where girls are being put in a bad spotlight because of a niche. Now, again, when it comes to the Young Miami situation, I don't know if Diddy is currently still messing with Gina or not. But again, I feel like Gina is in a certain position where she felt comfortable enough to post her and Diddy, and that's questionable. And I just feel like at the end of the day, no one, whether it's Diddy, well, maybe Diddy, you know, like, you know, maybe a billionaire, but JK, nobody, even Diddy and Antonio Brown's ass should be putting these women in a position 
One, where they're fighting with their ex, or two, where they're being out and on social media for getting a tattoo on them because at that point they genuinely liked you and you're basically calling them a hoe that you pimped out or whatever the case. Like, and mind you, what gets me mad about that Ed Toto situation is that he blew his bag. Like, Keisha did a whole song with your corny ass. And you have the nerve to disrespect our R&B auntie. It's not adding up. But it's just crazy how niches and you know relationships or whatever the case can put women in these situations where they get out of character or, or they're over here commenting don't be mad at me no more i apologize like and the crazy thing about it is this is why self-love is so fucking important and it doesn't even mean to say that you have no self-love if you're going crazy over a niche you could be secure with yourself in a relationship but at the same time when you deal with somebody whose emotions and feelings and actions affect everything you do because you have feelings for them you fuck with them i feel like it's easy to lose yourself in that situation so when you really got you and you love yourself and you know that you're that bitch or you're that niche then you're able to walk off of a higher head and not even have to address certain shit i do understand young miami situation a bit more because gina was trying to be slick and and to come at her low-key but it sucks because it's like to the world y'all just fighting over diddy like y'all fighting over diddy dick keisha you have the world being like girl like get it together and it's just so hard like in this situation there's strength and there's weakness there's weakness because you're falling for somebody and that shit hurts like you're literally risking everything and honestly i will say that you know it takes a lot of strength just to open up to somebody nowadays like for real it takes strength to but it also takes strength to deal with whatever they throw your way whether if it's a fucking side chick or it's them exposing your ass. And just not to let no niche have you looking crazy out here. If there's anything to take from this video, it's really just to, again, not let no niche have you looking crazy out here. And to have that security within yourself to not even argue with no bitches. Or, I mean, again, there's certain levels to that because you ain't gonna let nobody just disrespect you. But again, in the case that Diddy is still messing with Gina or whatever, or whatever to the point where Gina feels like she could talk her shit as well, to me, it's not even worth going back and forth with her, you know? But I just feel like overall, we just gotta do better. Like, we just gotta do better. But again, as long as you have yourself, ain't nobody can make you look crazy. Not no bitch and not no niche, okay? That is in my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment out what you guys think below. Do you guys think that Gina is still messing with Diddy? Do you guys think that Young Miami and Diddy are in a relationship? relationship what do you guys think about this whole Keisha Cole and Antonio Brown situation do you guys think that there's an age limit on you know getting your heart broken or, or having a school girl crush on a guy that ain't shit you know comment out what you guys think below follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Chrissy Talks and Snapchat at hchrissy to s is two vibes I love and appreciate you guys I am back and I am better and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys oh, she the girl. Oh, yeah. she the girl.